coming at you to your screens for another episode of All In. Today, in celebration of the release of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, I'm gonna share some fun little tidbits of trivia and also talk about the legacy of Tetris. Let's start with a fun personal fact. Tetris was the first game that I ever remember watching someone play. I was about four or so when my family went camping and my brother was trying to play his Game Boy with what little light we had in the car at night. Even at that young age, I remember understanding how the game worked. Even with its implied simplicity, that game is incredibly engaging to watch. And it's kind of funny how watching someone play a game gives you the sense that maybe you could do it better. Or maybe that was just like a sibling rivalry. Either way, I could totally take my brother at Tetris. The Game Boy version of Tetris was considered one of the best-selling titles of all time. It was originally released on the Electronica 60 in 1986, and even though it had no music and used monochrome graphics, it was still a game that required a lot of intelligence and skill. But that was the idea of the original programming behind Alexei Pajinatov's creation. This game seems simple enough as you got into it, as I'm sure you're all aware, but it can get really overwhelming really fast. That is, of course, unless you're some kind of pro-level Tetris player, in which case, please teach me your way, Sensei. I really legitimately think you're super awesome, and I need your brain stuff. It goes without saying that Tetris is beyond classic. It is the most ported video game title of all time, which, when I thought about it, had to be Skyrim, but nope. It was ported to over 65 platforms and actually won a Guinness World Record for it. This record-breaking game has been in our lives for 35 years. And since then, it has had an amazing impact on gaming and everyday life. Tetris is actually known to aid in a healthy lifestyle. From helping those with PTSD, to helping those with weight loss or people who want to quit smoking, it actually can help people like me who have a lazy eye and need to strengthen their eye muscles. Bet you guys didn't know that. How's that for haunting your nightmares? <laughs> There's even a syndrome named after the game. It's called the Tetris Effect. It's when you do a task for such prolonged periods of time that it starts to change the way you think or dream. I always thought it was really weird. If I played Minecraft for a really long time, I'd start to have dreams about branch mining, or if I'm just sitting at my desk, I'll hear the sound of blocks breaking in my mind. It's really weird, but it's crazy that there's a name for that. The Tetris Effect, huh. There have been over 200 variations of Tetris, each with their own unique remix to the main theme. And it's really hard not to do a little jig to that beat. But did you know that the Type A theme song that you're so familiar with is actually based off a 19th century folk song called Korobenyeki? There's even lyrics that go to the beat of the song. Hirokazu Tanaka sampled that and other classical pieces from Bach and Tchaikovsky for the initial releases of the game. That is music that spans three centuries, and I am sure Tetris will continue to impact our lives for years to come. Speaking of, did you know that they're making a Tetris movie? When I first heard, I thought, how are you going to make a movie about Tetraminos falling into place? But it's actually a movie about the intense legal battles that took place during the Cold War over the rights to the game and the establishment of the Tetris Company. There's a very intriguing history behind every single game that you play with hardworking developers, producers, and creators, and I'm genuinely excited to learn more about the history of Tetris on the big screen. Plus, it stars Taron Edgerton, and I think he's really cute. All right, that's it for me, guys. Which console did you first play Tetris? You have played Tetris, right? You should play some Tetris right now. It's a good thing that Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 is out now on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox S and S, and the Nintendo Switch. Pick it up safely at a store near you or on GameStop.com. You can hit me up on the socials of the medias at Pamela Horton 13, or you can check out my streams, twitch.tv forward slash Pamela Horton 13. Take care of yourselves, guys. Someone out there loves you. I love you. Okay, love you, bye.